Let's get into, uh, let's preview the big heavyweight. Two big guys going at it this coming weekend. Deontay Wilder's in with Robert Hellanius. Hellanius coming off two knockout wins over uh, Adam Konaki, who looked to be an up-and-coming um, prospect in the heavyweight division, but Hellanius derailed him in a hurry with two back-to-back uh, TKOs. Wilder obviously coming off his own two losses to um, Tyson Fury. So interesting matchup here. Uh, interesting fight. Two very big guys, 6'7", I think. It's 6'6", six, six maybe for both guys, or 6'7", for both guys. Um, what are you looking for in this one? Yeah, Wilder is 6'7", and supposedly, in, uh, and Hellenius is 6'6". Six, six so uh, first thing, Hellenius is, they picked him for a reason. Uh, he's got those couple wins so they can sell it, and he's but he's thirty eight years old now. He Hellenius was knocked out four fights ago by Gerald Washington, and Washington, uh, Gerald Washington's record is twenty five and one. He's been knocked out five times, and he's forty years old now. So four fights ago, Hellenius was knocked out. And then he had the good wins against Kanaki, as you said, undefeated Kanaki, a uh, Polish kid who was drawing, you know, good fans in Brooklyn. Uh, and then he got derailed. But also, I try to put things in honest context, proper perspective on it. You know, Kanaki was a guy that you could close your eyes and still have a good chance of hitting him on the chin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just saying, and I'm not knocking him. He's a warrior. He's a tough guy. He is. But By again, way, for, those people, for those people Gerald. out there that say, "Oh, you knocked out," oh, you know, do I have tissues here? No, nah, I don't have my tissues today. But for those guys, oh, yeah, yeah, they start crying and all that stuff. Hey, I I evenly disperse my proper criticism or constructive criticism or points of fact to wherever they need to be dispersed. I don't pick on anybody. So, again... By the way, Gerald Washington was knocked out by Koanaki, and then... So, Koanaki knocks him out. Then he knocks out Hellenius. So, then the Koanaki's people were probably like, oh, great, give us Hellenius. And Hellenius was like, not today, Adam. Well, Hellenius, so to the point... No, you're right. It is, And that's why I do... Again, I try to do the CAT scan of this thing and give the people out there everything they need to know. Um, Haleni has been knocked out two times, not just by Jerry Washington. He also got knocked out um, four, I think it was four years ago, um, uh, uh, or six years ago. I'm it's sorry, I want to be accurate. Six years ago. Yeah, by John, John Dohapus. Um, Johan. Who, Johan yeah, Dohapus. Yeah, Johan. And Johan Dohapus, <laughs> a French fighter who's um, now 41 years old. So he got knocked out by him too. And just again, just so you have his record, the Hoppers now is thirty nine and seven. Uh, but l- I say that part. I also say the good part. So again, I pride myself. I try to pride myself in being fair uh, on both sides of whatever the issue is, and give it all. He being Hellenius, Robert Hellenius, has also gone the distance with some top fighters like Darian White. Who was a you know was a top ten heavyweight who fought two times for the heavyweight title got knocked out both times but you know he's a top guy he went the distance with him he also went the distance with one of my favorite guys over there across the pond uh, perennial contender and warrior Derek Chisora uh, and and he 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 won a split he won a split decision uh, over Chisora he had lost to White. Uh, a decision going the distance. So he's been in, and of that decision, that split decision to Chisora was in Finland, which might have played into it a little bit because that is Hellenia's home country. But at the end of the day, he's been in, he's an experienced guy with 34 fights. He's six And you know, he's been half. around, he's been around so long. He fought Samuel Peter in 2011. Yeah, Samuel, that's I haven't right. I have seen that name in a he, long he time. Knocked, he knocked out Peter. And yeah. Peter had fought Klitschko and had Klitschko on the floor seven times or whatever, <laughs> uh, the younger Klitschko. Yep. So look, and then Peter went downhill real fast. At the end of the day, I'm giving him the credit I'm, I'm saying a negative and a positive. He's also an experienced guy who's been in there with a lot of good fighters. Okay? 
Now, he was picked for a reason, for the reasons I just pointed out. He was yep. picked by, there's no doubt, he was picked by the Wilder camp uh, as a comeback fight coming off the knockout loss, two losses, knockout loss in a row to Fury, but the, the savage beating, and he showed all the heart in the world, Wilder, and he gave back some of that beating, dropping Fury before he was finally vanquished. But he's coming off a really, really bad beating. He's been off a year, and Wilder has, and now he's coming back and they want to try to get it right. So they picked this guy, and they're probably right. He probably, they picked him, they think he's going to go out there, hit him on the chin and go home. Now, there is the possibility that Hellenius maybe hits him first because he can pop a little bit. Maybe he hits him on the chin first and things don't go that way. But chances are that they'll probably go Wilder's way. I would bet on that direction. But here's the X factors in breaking this fight down that's coming next week. The X factor is... Two things that I don't think anyone else pointed out. Um, one is the more obvious, where Water is coming off that bad, bad, um, tough fight and a bad beating. How much was he damaged psychologically and physically? Now, he took a year off, which was smart. But how much is, is he all the way back or not? So does that play into it? Maybe, if you want to take the underdog, you know, and you want to call up my bookie if you got the extra money to throw around like that. Um, otherwise, don't do it. But maybe, probably not, but that could play into it, that maybe he's damaged goods, Wilder, maybe. And that's why they're being careful. But the other thing that also might play into it that I don't think anyone's touched on is that Wilder has had problems with, Tall guys. Wilder's usually the taller guy, 6'7". But when he fought a guy as tall, if not taller, as Fury, of course, he had problems. Of course, it's because Fury could fight. I, that was a big part of it, too, and had a great chin and great heart but and a difficult style. But part of it was also the height, that he could match Wilder's height. Wilder is now fighting... A guy who can also, like Fury, match his height, Ken. Uh, you know, he's like a half an inch shorter. Hellenius, as I said, is six, six and a half, and Wilder's six, seven. So yep. that could play. That could possibly play. Um, we'll find out. But I want to give a comprehensive breakdown to the fans out there. And that's about, I think that's about as comprehensive as I could get with what we have. Yeah. Hellenius is definitely chosen as an opponent, but we have seen guys chosen as opponents where it didn't go according to script, uh, quite the way, you know, the way it was scripted. Especially but, in heavyweights. So, yeah, because sometimes it can come down to the simplest thing, who hits who on the chin first. 